Kate, who was wearing a cream Catherine Walker coat and the Irish Guard's gold shamrock brooch, was seen greeting troops ahead of the ceremony. Tonight's event, which is a major part of the Army's ceremonial calendar, will see 300 musicians, drummers and pipers from the massed bands of the Household Division performing traditional military music and marches. It has taken place on House Guards Parade in Whitehall every year since 1966 and raises money for service charities. Kate took the salute tonight, a role given to the Queen or another member of the royal family. The Duchess kept her style simple, wearing her hair in a chignon and accessorizing with a pair of flower-shaped pearl earrings. She also opted for a pair of nude suede stilettos and a matching clutch bag. Earlier today, the Duchess of Cambridge was absent from a commemoration service at the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire in which her husband gave a speech. At the event, the Duke of Cambridge delivered the D-Day address made by his great-grandfather King George VI in 1944. He said, four years ago our nation and empire stood alone against an overwhelming enemy, with our backs to the wall. No once more a supreme test has to be faced. This time the challenge is not to fight to survive but to fight to win the final victory for the good cause. At this historic moment surely not one of us is too busy, too young, or too old to play a part in a nationwide, perchance a worldwide vigil of prayer as the Great Crusade sets forth. The beating retreat event started in the 1690s, when the beating of the drum would order troops to halt their fighting and head back to camp as darkness fell. The beating later signaled the closing of the camp gates at the end of the day, before troops were called back to base for the night. But now the royal event is an evening military concert and also marked the lowering of the regimental flag as the sun sets. After this, the royals then gather on Buckingham Palace's balcony to watch a parade and flee over. The tradition of the British infantry also dates back to the 17th century. The ceremony involves more than 1,400 parading soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians. They gather together on the Queen's official birthday every year for the spectacular military parade. The parade starts out at Buckingham Palace and crowds gather along the mall to watch it. 